Hi guys, thank you so much for joining me here today on this video. My name is Angela and thank you for coming and spending a little time with me. So here on this channel we do all sorts of things. We do lots of shopping hauls, we do cooking and recipes and we also do a little bit of a chit chat about weight loss because I am on a weight loss journey. I've lost six and a half stones so far uh, still got a little way to go, but I am here with lots of inspiration, lots of tips and uh, lots of ideas that I hope can help you too. So guys, um, if this is the sort of thing you like, then feel free to stick around. So I have got a shopping haul for you today and um, it's a few different things from a few different places. But stay to the end because I've, I want to share a couple of things with you that is really helping me on my weight loss journey. Um, so do stick around for that. Okay, so let's get straight into this haul. So I've been to a couple of different places and one of the places I have been to uh, this week is been Lidl. Now, I love Lidl, but I don't shop there very often. But um, I was near near one the other day and I had a little bit of time and I thought I'd just have a little mooch around. So this is what I came up with. I'm so glad I went because, you know, if you know me, you know that I love my um, my teas, particularly my Yorkshire tea. Um, and talking about tea, I've not got even got the snack of the day today. What's going on, Angela? Seriously, what's going on? I tell you what it is, guys. It's because I'm in between uh, my day job and I've got 45 minutes. And I thought I will just do this video quickly. So that is why. But um, stay to the end, and then I'll, I'll I'll try and sneak one in. Okay. I do apologise. So, um, what I did get was some teas. So, you know I love my tea. I love my Yorkshire tea. But I picked this one up. This is Green Ruri Boos. Ruri Boss. Oh, sorry, I don't know how to pronounce it. Ruri Boss Peach and Cherry. And I've opened it up to show you because it, it comes in this, like, um, this very fancy, like, a netted bag. It's like a yeah it's not like your standard tissue kind of bag it's it's really nice it's kind of like a fabric bag and it's lovely so and it smells it smells lovely it smells very peachy so when it comes in bags like this i know that it's not your standard you know the cheaper ones i know that these and it does say it's deluxe so yeah, green Ruby Boss, peach and cherry. So I love my Yorkshire tea, but I also love herbal teas um, too. And you know what? It's just inspired me sort of to drink more herbals as well. So we've got that one, but it didn't stop there, guys. I also got this one. This is super fruit tea. And in this one, it's got apple, hibiscus, rose hip flavorings. Uh, sweet blackberry leaves and blueberries and yeah it's the same sort of thing with the um that fancy kind of fabric uh and with this one you could you know you could see all of that all those different leaves and super fruits so i'm looking forward to trying that one too um just something different and it's also it also helps with water in, you know keeping hydrated too but it didn't stop there guys i also got this flavor because i thought if i'm going to try them i might as well try the lot why not so we've got this flavor too and this is peppermint and licorice and uh, peppermint is so good for the digestive system and i always love to have peppermint uh, around especially if i'm feeling bloated or my stomach's a bit swollen or i've eaten a bit too much um, I feel a bit unsettled, my stomach's unsettled. So I always love um, to have peppermint, either as peppermint tea, and I actually grow peppermint as well. So sometimes I will just pop that in uh, fresh peppermint leaves in water or boil it up and drink that. But I also sell this with a licorice, and I also know that licorice is also good for the body. So I thought I would try this as well. So these three were all from Lidl. 
but it didn't stop there guys it didn't stop there what am i like i also saw this which is green tea with mint again we just said mint is really good for the body whether it's regular mint or peppermint really good um so and i always like to keep this because sometimes my friend comes over and they just like you know green tea mint tea so yeah i thought i'd give that a try but the one thing that i am super excited about is this one this is turmeric with ginger now turmeric has got so many great properties for health um and so has ginger and uh yeah these ones just come in these standard uh tea bag bags not your posh tea bag bags but just the standard ones um so i'm excited to try them to see how that works so yeah it's a relaxing blend soothing and gentle so yeah looking forward to trying those so those are my teas that i got from little and whilst i was also in there i picked up these these are cleansing cloths that I use to take my makeup off at night. Um, this one is the sensitive, and this one is oops, it's alive, it's jumping away, running away. Oh, it's all falling, falling everywhere. So that one is cleansing, and that one is sensitive. I'm sure there's something in these. They're just falling out my hand. It's cleansing and sensitive, and so I use. Uh, at night i always like to take my makeup off with a cleansing cloth and then i have my ritual of using my cleanser and then taking that off again and i put oil and all sorts of things i do um I, I will do a video at some point um on my beauty and skincare routine and show you exactly what i do but the reason i wanted to share these with you is because i've tried <laughs> Um, cleansing cloths like this from b and I've tried them from Home Bargains I've tried them from Lidl and I've tried them sorry not Lidl from Aldi and I've tried them from um, Primark and personally these from Lidl are the absolute best I really like them and it's only a slight difference because this fragrance the what i buy some from primark and i'm sorry primark i love primark products but those ones i i, I got had two packets recently and they were the cucumber and i ended up throwing them in the bin because the smell just didn't like the smell of them um and with other ones the the cloth isn't as gentle these ones are absolutely fantastic for me brilliant absolutely brilliant they work beautifully on my skin they're biodegradable face wipes um and i love the fragrance the fragrance is really really gentle really really soft a, a good size cloth as well um that doesn't ruffle and fold up just really really good so i ended up buying two packs of each and after I left Lidl, I thought, you know what, I should have bought more because I don't go to Lidl very often. Um, so I'm going to have to make another trip soon and stock up on those. So all of those were from my were from Lidl. Okay, so something else that I so I then went on to Aldi and I ended up getting these because um, my friend, who's a hairdresser. Uh, and she does my hair it says that these are a really good product these are a dupe of a really expensive and really popular brand on the market and these were these were under four pounds each and the real deal it's a lot more a lot more expensive so this is the shampoo this is the bonded and this is the conditioner um i don't know if i can say the name of the dupe but um it's opalex opalex um so these are aldi's dupes of these products and these repair strengthen and hydrate and therefore all hair types 
so um they were highly recommended so i'm going to give them a try i thought i would give them a try and see if it does anything for my locks yeah so yeah pick those up for maldi's and then i then went on to tesco's and uh, i had to get something for the cat i know she's my co-host but the other week she said she ain't doing any work it was too hot and that's why you haven't seen that on any videos and then every time i do come to to set up the camera and do a video she scarpers she runs and she's like no not working i'm on strike so i'm having to bribe her i'm having to i know what what's it like so i i ended up getting her some cat milk i said to her if i get you some cat milk will you do some videos with me she said she'll think about it yeah i know i said to my grandchildren the other day my six-year-old i said to him i need you to do um a piece of footage video footage for me to welcome everybody to the channel and also ask mem ask viewers to subscribe he said i'll do it nanny but you'll have to pay me i said pay you i said how much he says at least a tenner an hour i was like even I don't make that much off YouTube. I don't make anything off YouTube. I said, when Nanny gets rich and famous, when we get people to subscribe and watching videos, and Nanny starts making money off YouTube, then I can pay you. But I says, Nanny ain't got no money off YouTube to pay you. He said, we ain't doing it. I was like, <laughs> okay. So my grandson wants paying, won't do any work for me unless he gets paid. And even the cat is refusing to work. What? What's it coming to go? What? I, I ask you, what is it coming to? So I went and bought the cat some milk. So this is her whiskers cat milk. Now, in all fairness, I don't get her milk very often because she's an old cat and, um, I give her milk only as a treat every now and again because and she, she drinks water she has water all the time but the problem is if I give her milk and it's the same with a, a wet food you know the canned jelly food if I give her that as a treat this all hell breaks loose when it's finished you've never heard anything like it seriously she refuses to drink her water she's screaming down the place demanding more milk and she's old she's an old cat and it's really distressing for her so i don't give it to her very often so but today i thought i would give her this to you know just as a bit of a trick because she hasn't had any for absolutely ages so yeah but she doesn't have it very often i do like to keep her on uh water but sometimes what i'll do i'll mix this with water so it waters down but i do like it to give it give her a little treat every now and again and then i also picked this up for her this is her cat food um and i get her her seniors her seniors seven plus she's actually um fifth well i've had her 15 16 years now so you know she's getting on a bit so i always like to get this big bag and then i empty it out into her food canister and uh yeah she knows exactly where it is and she's always asking for food so she gets fed about three or four times a day um so yeah so i got this for her um this is the chicken and turkey she doesn't mind which flavor it is but she absolutely loves this brand the goat cat um i used to give her uh whiskers she won't have it sorry whiskers she used to have whiskers when she was little and then the one day i gave her goat cat and then she wouldn't go back to whiskers so she just loves this brand this is the only brand she laid yeah she's uh yeah she's she's bought she's fussy is my bob but she's absolutely worth it and then i also got this from tesco's 
you'd say, I, I like to drink at least two, two and a half, sometimes three litres of water a day. And sometimes I just want something to take the blandness out of the water. So I go for this. It's Robinson's. It's the orange flavour. And this is double strength. Um, and there's no added sugar in this. So I always like to just, just put a little drop, probably like a teaspoon into like a 750ml um, container bottle of water just to add a little bit of taste to it. And I don't know what it is, but I always drink more when I've got something like squash in my water. Um, and I enjoy it more. Now, I can drink plain water, but... I drink more if it's plain with ice and like maybe a slice of lemon or something like that. And definitely more if it's got a little sweetness to it. Yeah, it, it's all mindset, isn't it? But this big bottle was on offer and it was only two quid, two quid in Tesco's. I was like, you're coming home with me, mate. Yeah, yeah. Okay, something else that I got in Tesco. So... I started at the gym, guys. Yeah. So um, to date, I've lost um, ninety-five pounds. Yeah, I've lost ninety-five pounds, and I'm on a journey to lose altogether. I'd like to lose a hundred and forty pounds, uh, which is about ten stone, and I've lost uh, six stones, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, six and. 11 pounds of loss so that's like 95 pounds and i've not done a huge amount of activity up until now because because you know i've mentioned before i suffer with my joints i've got you know chronic illness so that kind of limits me somewhat but when i can i get out and i walk and with the warm weather i've been doing a lot more walking but since I've lost so much weight, I've noticed that I really want to tone up. Um, you know, I've got, you know, jiggly bits and, you know, I don't feel as toned. Because there's one thing about losing the weight and another thing about feeling really good in your body. And I want to feel not just good, I want to feel amazing in my body. So walking has been brilliant for me, but... I, I just needed to do something else. So I joined a gym. And um, because my daughter-in-law joined a gym and I thought I'll do it with her. Now she loves doing the classes, but I just haven't got the energy. She keeps encouraging me, bless her, to do the classes. But one, I'm not confident enough. And two, I don't think I've got the strength or the stamina to do some of these classes so i like to get on the treadmill um and just a few machines and i'll go at my own pace and i've all sort of started to lift weights and i'm really enjoying that now um one of the things that i've learned is that when you're working out in the gym and you wanted to tone up and build muscle because that's the thing i want to build my strength and it's also good as we're getting older as well to strength train because it's good for the bones um, and overall health as well. So as part of toning up and building my strength, I know that I need to increase my protein intake. So I was recommended, it was recommended to start having protein shakes as well. Um, after working out so i picked these up in tesco's these are the fuel breakfast drinks and they are high in protein and i have it so what i tend to do now these have got um how much gram i haven't got my glasses i always do this don't i i always go to read something and i haven't got my glasses but i will put on the screen how many point how many uh grams of protein they have in um so they are high protein it says but i can't quite see it so what i tend to do is after i've finished the gym gym i usually have one of these and um so i'll have my water whilst i'm working out and then when i get in the car i'm usually quite hungry 
and as I'm going home a couple of times I have been really tempted to stop off and get like a sandwich or even a McDonald's because I've had to drive past it and I've just thought no I'm not doing that because that's counterproductive I've just worked out really hard in the gym I'm not going to undo it so it was recommended that I get some protein shakes so um I have started having these it is a breakfast drink so you could use it as a meal replacement and i'm following the weight watchers plan and these come up at six points i think it is or maybe it's four i can't i think it might be four points um so in the mornings if i don't get to the gym in the morning i tend to have a kavag the lindholm pro, a protein yogurt and that's two points or sometimes I have the Aldi protein yogurt and that's a bigger pot and that's three points. But when I do go to the gym, whether it be in the morning or um, in the day, I will just take one of these and I'll have it in the car and I'll drink it just as I'm driving, well, as I'm driving home, before I set out, before I start the drive. And when i have this i just find that it takes that hunger away from me so yeah i've started incorporating these into my meal plan for the day um and it does push me over my points for the day but that's absolutely fine because i know that i'm getting the protein that my body needs after working out and then I thought to myself, because these work out at, um, it's five for four pounds in Tesco's, okay? And then um, somebody said to me, why don't you get some protein powder? It'll work out a lot cheaper. And then, you know, they had, we were having the conversation and they said, when you're working out and you are you know in the gym and you you're starting to lift weights particularly which is what i'm really interested in um and they're not you know i don't want to be like miss universe although i think i can easily do that what do you reckon I think i can be miss universe you know everything is possible guys everything is possible but i don't want that huge big muscular bulky body although i think that looks amazing there's a couple of women at the gym and they are just pure muscle and i just love that body look oh my goodness the broad shoulders the tiny waist the slim hips i think if i was like 20 years younger i think i would definitely be going for that body shape um but i know my limits and i know that i just want to I want to develop muscle mass and I want to be muscular. I don't want to be like, you know, huge, but I do want muscles at the moment. I've got a lot of jiggle. I've got a lot of jiggle and not a lot of body, not, not a lot of muscle. Um, and I want to build that. I want to feel strong. So I was told to start on some protein uh, shakes. Um, and particularly after working out in the gym so the idea is after i've worked out i'll drink my water when i get on the way home and then i'll come home and i will have a protein shake now I'm, i don't know how many points these have, will work out to be for one shake. oh actually i did i scanned it when i was in tesco's with my wwf and i think it works out at three points per 30 gram so um yeah so this one is chocolate flavor you can see there and then i also bought some bananas as well so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna put some water into my blender with a scoop of this and one banana and blend it up and i'm gonna have that as a shake if so sometimes i get to the gym early morning and i don't have breakfast so the idea is i will have this for breakfast when i get home from the gym but the great thing about these is if i'm making pancakes or cakes or biscuits i can put a scoop of this in and bulk that out so i get that protein um 
so yes i'm really excited to try this i've never my son used to have these big tubs of protein when he was lifting weights and going to the gym um so i know that and he was doing so well he was really bulking up and really he was losing body fat but building muscle and he was doing so so well and then you know life takes over and you can't do as much so yeah so i know that you can get some great results in terms of getting that protein in building that muscle but also on the weight loss journey what we do know is that protein can really help us to keep fuller for longer so i'm really excited to give this a try and then i'm going to fill it out with a banana so i get that fruit in there um and i also get the um the potassium and some of the minerals in there too um so yeah excited to try this this now this worked out this was just under 15 pounds for this little packet now no i'm sure i can get it cheaper if i do like um, my protein um but i didn't want to go and they they also had the big packs which was like 25 pounds but i didn't want to get a huge pack just in case it didn't work for me or I didn't like it so this is a small pack for 15 pounds I thought I would just give that a go um so yeah I think I'm gonna have one for lunch actually um I've already had my breakfast so I think I'm gonna get to try it for lunch and I will let you know how it goes at the end of this video in fact I might have this for my snack of the day actually yeah that's a good idea so stay to the end of this video and I'll let you know how what i think of this okay and then one final thing that i got are these so these are i got these from amazon so these are my workout gloves now you just undo it like this i got it in this lovely blue and these are weightlifting gloves now the reason i got these now please don't judge me please don't judge me but when i go to the gym i see and i'm i'm i see at the gym when it's really busy people are using the machines they're not wiping them down they've got like gel and wipes and all that people are not wiping them down and they're just jumping on a machine they're all sweaty, which is what you're supposed to be like anyway at the gym. They're sweating, they're wiping their sweat, they're touching the machine, they're finishing, and then they're going off. And then jumping on another machine, and another machine, and another machine. And then somebody else comes along, and then they touch that machine. And then it, and I'm like, it bothers me, guys. It bothers me, especially like COVID and hygiene and stuff like that. So on a previous video, you saw that I bought my hand gel specifically for the gym. I've got wipes as well. So the other day I was in the gym and I just, I got a tissue and I put some of the anti-back on it and I was wiping down the machine before I was using it and people were like looking at me and I was like I don't really care what you think this is my health so I'm cleaning it down and I was wiping it down before and after I'd used it and I was getting a lot of looks and especially after somebody had finished using a machine and then I jumped on it and wiped it down and they were giving me really funny looks and I was the only person in the gym doing that and it did make me feel a bit awkward but at the end of the day I thought I'm going to do it because of you know it's my health and you know I am a vulnerable person with my health um I do suffer with chronic illness um and um yeah I won't go into it now, but I do suffer with chronic illness around my heart and my lungs and my joints and all of that. So I have to protect me. So um, then I saw somebody in the gym with some gloves like these, a couple of people with these. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to get some. I'm going to get a pair because it means then that I could put these on and not have to worry about cleaning down the machine. 
and I can just jump on and off. I'm not touching the machine, not touching it with my hands. Um, the gloves are doing all the work. Job done. But the other thing that I like about these is because I have arthritis in my hands and my grip isn't as good, these just, I mean, I say that, I haven't used these yet. I just got them the other day. I did have some that were fingerless. And um, they were great for the palm of my hands, but my fingers were still touching machines. So I've sent those back and I've ordered these ones and I've not used these ones yet. But my son has said that these are really good because I've got the grip. So if I'm like lifting weights and, I, you know, I'm not lifting like the metal plates. I'm using the machines. Um, but, uh, yeah, I, I've still got, I'm not touching the machines. I'm got me out my gloves on um so yeah do you know what i know what rambled on a bit but sometimes guys you've got to do what works for you and this is what's going to work for me so i've got these in a medium medium size um lovely gorgeous blue color so i'm really looking forward to working out in the gym using these i don't care what anybody thinks because this is about protecting my health and we've got to do what works for us and um, so yeah so when i'm in the gym i find that and i've done a few workouts i find that um i'm feeling already so much more toned and it's that good hurt you know your body aches but it's that good ache because i'm pushing weights and i'm building that resistance and I'm getting a lot more out of it than just walking. Walking is great. It's cardio, it's burning calories, but I just needed something to feel toned. And already I've only done a few sessions and I feel great. So I'm going to be sporting in the gym with my new gloves. Yeah. So there we go, guys. So that is it for now. That is my haul. And um, yeah. I hope that you found this interesting, um, all the little bits and pieces. Um, I think my favourite, what's your favourite, guys? Do you have a favourite out of the things that I bought? Do let me know and pop it in the comment box below. I think my favourite is this. I'm really excited to give this a try for lunch. And as I say, I will make this in a moment and then I will come back on and let you know what I think of this. So that's my favourite. And uh, my gloves are my, also my favourite. And I'm looking forward to giving my little kitty cat a little bit of this milk as well. So, yeah. Anyway, guys, um, thank you so much for being here. Please hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell so we can grow and, uh, yeah, develop the, this, this community and this family. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, then give it a thumbs up, give it a like as well, and leave a comment in the comment section below. It just helps the video to be found. Hi and guys, welcome back. So, um, it's a different day. Different clothes, different day. It's the next day. Um, and Because I didn't have a chance, to be honest, to, to, to make my protein shake. Um, and so I knew I was going to the gym in the morning, which I did. Went to the gym this morning, not long come back, hence why I'm still in my gym gear. So I thought I would just make my protein shake. So interestingly, I've got a little bit of a story. So, you know, yesterday I said to you that I bought this one from Tesco's. And this is 450 grams, 450 grams of this uh, protein mix total protein okay and this one was 14.99 well today after the gym i nipped into b&m and b&m isn't far from my gym the one that i go to and in there they had exactly the same but double the amount 900 grams and this was only a pound more this one was $15.99 and I thought, there's no competition, you're coming home with me mate. So, um, so as you can see, I've, I've opened it, I've opened it already, because I've not long got to home. 
opened it and this is what it looks like you get your little scoop in there as well so one of these scoops is 30 grams and which is 22 grams of protein so i've bought this i thought i'm keeping this at 900 grams with 15.99 and tomorrow when I go to the gym, I'm taking this one back to Tesco's, 450 grams for 14.99. You know, it doesn't make sense to me. So yeah, b and place to go. Anyway. So I made it up and this is what it looks like, guys. So I took 200 ml of water. I've added some ice, a couple of ice cubes because I do like my drinks really ice cold. And then I've added a banana. I've just peeled a banana, broke it up, added it in. And then one scoop, 30 gram scoop of the protein powder. And then I've just blitzed it. I've blitzed it in my blender. And I have to say, it's all nice and frothy and creamy. And it tastes really nice. Mm. It's got a little bit of sweetness to it. There is no added sugar in this, which is really good. Um, but there's a, there's a sweetness, a chocolatey sweetness to it. And it's really nice. It's much nicer than the fuel. I'll just show you. It's much nicer than these fuels. I mean, these ones are nice. And I think these are brilliant. They're really convenient. I can carry them with me and drink it straight after um, I've left the gym. But this is so much thicker and I think it's, well, it's thicker because I've got the banana in there and the ice. Yeah, let's be honest. But this is really nice too. So I think they serve similar purposes. So when I get home from the gym and I'm really hungry and I really want something to eat straight away, I think I will go for this. But, you know, I can always take this in the car with me if I'm out and about just come from the gym, I've got a long stretch ahead of me without being able to eat. I think these are really, really handy too. But I will just say that although I'm having these um, these protein shakes, it's never ever going to replace real food for me because I'm such a believer that of um, when I'm on a weight loss journey to make sure that whatever I'm doing is consistent and it's sustainable and it's livable. So this will never ever replace real food for me. But um, seeing as I'm focused on working out a bit more, building muscle, um, then yeah, I think just having the extra protein is going to help me. So yeah, so there we go guys. And also whilst I was in B&M today, I picked this up. I saw these and I thought these are perfect. These are lolly moles. And as you can see, it's a pack of four and it's four pounds. And it's it's um like those uh Cali Pops. And there we go, guys. Let me just show you. Um, so if I can just show you, it's really squidgy, it's got a lid that comes off, and it's this tapered shape, so it's like that Cali Pop. So you will then just make like some squash, maybe, you know, with a bit of orange squash or orange juice or a bit of Ribena and make it up, pour it in, you pop your lid on like that so it's nice and secure and then you could then pop these in the freezer and then when they're frozen you take the lid off and then you push them up like that and then you can eat them. So perfect i saw these and i just thought these are absolutely brilliant for the summer and also great for kids as well so yeah i was really pleased that i saw these so i'm gonna make some up later and pop them in the freezer it's just you know for four pounds they're going to last a long time and it just means that, you know, myself or when the kids come and friends and family come on hot summer days and we want a lolly, we can make it and it's going to save a lot of money and it's also going to, um, I can control it because I can put sugar free squash in there, pop it in the freezer and make them up. Yes, yeah, so they're really, really pleased with that. Anyway, guys, that is it for me. I am going to finish my shake and then I will... What am I going to do today? Um, 
yeah i think i'm gonna get in the garden um in fact i bought a, a plant and it's not doing so well so i'm gonna take it back in fact i think i might do that I might just nip back out to the shops and do that and then uh yeah have a lazy afternoon before work this evening anyway guys thank you so much for being here with me if you've enjoyed this video give it a like and also if you've not subscribed smash that uh, subscribe button and click that notification bell and also feel free to drop me a comment below okay guys i will see you very soon take care now bye